What's up guys, my name is Diachronic Yost here on this Destiny 2 video and today we're going to be showing you where the, I was going to say, is, <laughs> we're going to be showing you the weekly reset for December 11, 2018. Today is the start of the dawning event, a couple of different fun activities, lots of cool things including uh, double uh, bright engram, so anytime you get a bright engram you get the, 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 uh, I forget what, ah there's snowballs! Oh, I forgot about the snowballs. Literally, just first time getting my snowball uh, this year. But uh, you get double engrams. So you get the, the etched engram, and you also get the dawning engram. We'll, we'll see Eververse later, and I'll show you what's inside and, and all the new things, and as well as a perusal of the basic activities and whatnot, as well as the regular reset. So let's go ahead and get started with the first thing, which is I'm going to start off with the Eververse. So you first have to visit Ev Eva, which is the Destiny 1 person right over here. What? What is... What do I do with... I feel like these were here last time, and I don't remember what to do with them. She looks different, right? Am I going crazy, or does she look very, very, very different? But anyways, the, the dawning event basically has us cooking a bunch of cookies. So the first thing you have to do is um, acquire this thing, and she's going to give you a whole bunch of different things, like materials and, and whatnot. Uh, this is all just for the dawning event, I assume. Take a second and stop at my power. Um... There it is, okay, it was disappearing for a while, yeah, <laughs> 35, you know, it's not uh, anywhere near my uh, some of my buddies, but, the, you know, whatever. Anyways, uh, that's just uh, something I want to unlock. So, this is going to be how the oven works. I assume you have to be able to put in a bunch of these different items all at the same time, and then you can start it up with some reason. So, we put in a delicious explosion, an ether cane, um, and then we have to put in some essence. So, it seems that you have to put 15 at a time. She gave us exactly what we need to do the very first Galler Doodle. Oh, look at that! It's a Galler Doodle. Um, and apparently, there's some special recipes. Deliver a gift to Zavala. Oh, oh, that, that does have the Zavala little skin. So, apparently, there's going to be this many recipes, which is... What is it? Seven across, 14, 15 different recipes. So, you have to combine things in different ways, and I, I assume... People will be posting on the internet like crazy what all the different combinations are that you have to deliver these things to the different people. Um, I'll be doing a guide hopefully uh, later this week, by this weekend, that will hopefully show off every single one of these. I'm going to just do a whole bunch of research. I'm sure we're going to be finding them by uh, this weekend. But I just wanted to uh, mention that is, is something that's going to it's gonna be the thing. But uh, well, let's go ahead and go over to Zavala and see what's going on with him. Hmm. Auto. Auto. LMG. Yeah. Hey, Zavala, catch! Ha ha! Snowballs! <laughs> I, I kid you not, that's exactly what I would do in, in the last dawning. I would just be like, hey, Snowball, catch! <laughs> yeah, alright, so it seems like uh, we can get like a little bit of a gift. He, We give him a gift and he's just like, hey, thanks for that thing. Whoa, look, it's the avalanche immediately. I did not expect the avalanche to be given immediately. That's, um, it's a bit surprising. Uh, let's see if it's powerful or not. Um... No, it's not powerful. Okay, so the avalanche will not be powerful. Don't worry about that. It's not something that's going to totally mess you up. But let's go ahead and take a look at it. It's a 450 RPM, the same as before. Stability, which is nice. Um, and you've got a bunch of different zoom types and, and whatnot. I got a snowball. Catch it, Sax. <laughs> his name is Sax because I forgot his name halfway through that sentence. Oh, man. There needs to be more snowballs around the tower. There's so much fun that... <gasps> I'd like to... Oh my god. <laughs> I thought for sure she was just giving me the sparrow right away. So, uh, it's going to be a blueprint, and we have to uh, unlock certain recipes to be able to get this sparrow. And this sparrow is very special. It has a bunch of cool things while you're boosting and doing tricks that releases glimmer into the air that's only effective during the dawning. So, there's lots of cool, fun stuff. So, obviously, there's going to be different cookies for Shax, for Amanda, and Hawthorne. And of course, you just have to gift, uh, bake gifts for pretty much everybody. I assume you can re gift to certain people for rewards again and again. Like, you can continue to gift to Zavala for perhaps a masterwork course or whatever it is. Let's go ahead and grab this and see what's going on. We have the Crummy Crucible Crafts Discovered Recipe and Discovered Recipe. Okay, so um, we have a lot of things on her. I did not expect there to be so many things. You have tons and tons of bounties for like Fallen kills, uh, melee kills in, in I think, Guardians, uh, Crucible matches, uh, public events in the system. You got baked delicious treats for powerful gear. That's a powerful gear reward. Everything else is just dawning essence and... Uh, cane and personal touches. We got some common ingredients. It seems like the main currency here is going to be Essence of the Dawning. So whenever you get Essence of the Dawning, uh, you can spend it on getting things like this. Chitin powder. Wow, that's oddly specific. Taken butter. Dark ether cane. Cabal oil. Vex milk. Oh, it's Vex milk. All right. 
We got some rare ingredients, um, which I assume will cause many different things that are very, very cool. So I think this is interesting. I don't know how far it's gonna go, but it's, I gotta say it's very interesting and I can't wait to grind out on all of my characters while I try to get light and, and get all these things and whatnot. So it's definitely, it's fun. I, I did not expect it to be as big as the Halloween. I don't know why, but the Halloween kind of just like, oh, well, there's like objectives and something to work towards and, and things and, th and they're doing that again. So I I'm glad that they are. All right, so the next part of the quest is gonna basically be baking treats. So you have to go out there and do the different activities, do the different uh, bounties. I don't know if you get some of those ingredients from other places around the world, um, but if you do, uh, it may be from the things that you're already doing, like public events and whatnot. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the regular reset with all the regular reset stuff. Starting off with the Nightfalls, we've got Inverted Spire, the one with the three times larger boss at the end. Used to be a weird bug that they had and they kind of removed. I wish that they kept. Uh, but this one gives you the trichromatic ghost shell. Exotic shell that glows around the outside. Still don't have it actually. You should go for it for sure. Um, but anyways, the strange terrain having the Braytech Ospay grenade launcher. Not the grenade. Uh, rocket launcher uh, with cluster bombs and all this stuff. Very popular uh, rocket launcher. Um, it's also popular because you need it for Wayfair since you need um, the Warmind things for, for Wayfair and the collections and all that stuff. So if you still have yet to get a rocket launcher uh, from the strange terrain mission, <coughs> you can go ahead and get it this week. And then finally we have Tree of Probabilities dropping the DFA a very popular 140 hand cannon that has um, drop mag and rampage on it highly recommend you get it if you don't have any hand cannon like this because it is a fantastic roll however there's a lot of hand cannons these days with a very similar roll as far as the highest scoring knife of this week it's probably gonna be strange terrain i have seen a couple of people with like 300,000 scores it's more common to have like around 200,000 scores and in general, none of these are very long. All of these are very short. I would say Inverted Spire is probably the easiest and the shortest mission out of every mission in the entirety of all the Nightfalls and, and, and Strikes. Uh, so if you're looking for an easy one, Inverted Spire is pretty good. Um, but the highest, highest scoring is also going to be uh, Strange Terrain. As for the weekly burn for Vanguard Strikes, it had Heroic Adventures, Heroic Story Missions. It's going to be Solar Sins this week, and we have Iron and Brawler for the daily. And of course, if you were looking to do a daily Heroic Story Missions today, Ice and Shadow is the shortest possible mission you can get pretty much it is just run the entire time kill one knight kill one ogre and you're done it, it's it's done in three minutes i'm not even joking i've been trying to get it under three minutes and 26 seconds for a very long time and it's so very fast so if you're looking to do some of those do those today mayhem oh my god it's mayhem ah! anyways that was <laughs> It's been so long. The weekly crucible gameplay, a game list play, play game list is mayhem. I mayhem didn't show up once, if I'm not, uh, if if I'm correct. I believe it hadn't showed up once last season. So mayhem finally been coming back. I'm so excited to finally get some of those triumphs and the game modes and stuff. And oh, I'm so excited. So mayhem is the weekly game mode for this week. Will count for valor. So get out there and do some mayhem. You have super supers. It's awesome. As for the flashpoint this week it will be on the edz so go to the edz do the public events lost sectors and heroic adventures to get credit towards the flashpoint for devram make sure while you're also there you pick up some of his bounties the earth bounties and stuff i always forget to do that but it's always nice to have some extra free stuff again last week was mars next week will be nessus on screen now you'll see the full rotation as for the Dreaming City this week, if you're looking to go get those powerful rewards this week, she's going to be in the Growing Curse week. So that is the second out of three phases. And next week will be the Shattering Throne week, where she'll be at the strongest power of curse. And of course, this is your friendly little reminder to go check out Spider for his powerful reward bounty, in case you still want to go get power, which is pretty much everybody, except for some people in my clan. As for the Prestige Raid Layers this week, we have Auto Auto Anything, which is decent, because having an anything power is always the best way to have it. And then for the uh, Prestige part, it's going to be Arsenal, which weapons have no reserve clip, and you just got to keep switch weapon. So uh, my apologies on Arms Master. Um, it might not matter which power weapon is, because you're going to have to be swapping away from it a lot. So this is not the best week, but it's also really not the worst. As for Escalation Protocol this week, it should be the SMG, because last week was the shotgun, and next week will be the sniper. All right, so now for the moment I've been, they're just selling this. For now, for the moment I have been waiting for so much is gonna be Eververse. I think some of the things that always encourage me all the time is gonna be those vanity items to get all the new kooky looking stuff, kooky looking ghosts and ships, and now with multiplayer emotes, there's tons and tons of stuff to do. I will be high-fiving pretty much everybody that will also have high-five going on. So let's go ahead and take a very brief uh, look at everything. I'm just gonna go ahead and go into the actual engram itself. If you do not know, you can preview it and look, this is what the Titan armor looks like in case you were wondering. 
um, and you can go ahead and take a look at what's going on. So all the different armor pieces for all the different classes, obviously not displayed on its character over here, uh, but you can see them over here on the left side and kind of just imagine what they look like in case you were wondering. They look very similar uh, to this guy. There's a couple different pictures around the internet if you want to know. Uh, there's a couple other things like emotes, for example, the different protecting the teammates kind of thing where you basically say, no, no stick, throw down the mitts, and now we fight, you know, like a very hockey-like thing which I think is uh, very fun. And there's a couple of different multiplayer emotes like fist bump and high five and chest bump, which I think is amazing. Literally chest bumping with yourself there, I think is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> and there's a bunch of these. Apparently you have to activate your emote when somebody else is activating theirs. Moving on to the ghost shells and ships. We got a couple of fun little ones. It's the true north shell, which is going to be the spiky one right here. But my favorite part, guiding light shell, which is probably one of the best kind of shells you can get ever, is going to be the reindeer snowball one, which is amazing because I want to use this all the time. And I definitely will find use out of this. Uh, guiding light is the thing where you get 10% more XP from everything. So it's just useful everywhere. I just wanted to very quickly show off this ship because this was shown off in um, in the TWAB, I believe, very briefly. And there's a whole bunch of ways you can deal with. And then finally, you have your shaders and mods. You have a bunch of cupcakes. Look, it's a cupcake. You have a bunch of different things. A coffee mug. I wonder who would be interested in a coffee mug. Hmm. I wonder. Uh, a couple of really cool transmat effects I'll be showing you. Boop. Out of the present, I think it's absolutely adorable. Might replace my spider one, but uh, I really like the spider one. And this one's also really cool, even though it's a blue. That's really freaking cool, right? Oh, there's a bunch of them. You can preview the rest of them. There's a lot of really cool ones. You have a bunch of different shaders going on. Uh, a lot of these were from the previous year. I believe these two are new. Anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into what he, she actually is selling today. You've got a whole bunch of different bundles, which I'm going to be going through each one of these. Uh, you've got some, just some standard stuff that seems pretty obvious. You see what that is. You've also got the mixing it up bundle. The Apparently, the, the mixing the cookies was not in... Oh, that's unfortunate. Mixing the cookies was not in Eververse. It's only in this bundle. That's a little unfortunate. So the only way to actually get this cooking of the cookies in the oven for is... <laughs> My character is so excited. Is going to be paying money, which is, you know, very unfortunate. But that's, that's where it is, in case you were wondering. And then finally, the last one, which is going to have the ship we saw earlier. A couple of different things um, in here, which is going to be, again, pretty straightforward. Let's go ahead and go very quickly across the different things here. I'm just going to be starting buying things. some of these things. Just wanted to show you as we went along. The coffee mug is on sale. <laughs> the coffee mug is on sale. Just wanted to check these uh, rolls really quick for you guys today. This is a pretty decent roll. If you don't have any sniper scavenger, it's really nice to have uh, at least one sniper scavenger with a special ammo on kill because of the fact you can get more Whisper, more Darcy, more anything. Uh, also really nice in, in PvP when you're sniping, you get more sniper scavenger off of every kill, which means you can two-shot body shot all the time and be terrible like me. Um, but, you know, just wanted to mention that there, there, there it is. And then the cape or the, the class item is, is pretty... It's pretty bad. And then finally, we have Baker's Pouch, which apparently is kind of a shortcut to getting the materials uh, that you need for the donning event itself. I assume I can preview it to see what I could get. Yeah, so you can get an assortment of these kind of items. I wanted to just try and get a few of these just because I wanted to know what it's like. I'm going to get this one, which is just this, and I've see what I get. So I got a buttload of bullet spray and dark ether cane. <clears throat> just going to get every single one of them just because I wanted to show off uh, what every single like one of them gets. Like. If I could stop getting dark ether cane, that'd be great. And ether cane... If I could get something else. <laughs> Apparently this is a way if you have tons of extra silver dust, which I, I clearly do, you can spend it on things like this. And moving on to the second section over here, there's going to be more purchases and all these other things. When when there's events, there's so many things to get, uh, so many different things to look at. You've got a bunch of different things like the Bronco, which I forgot what this one was entirely, actually. Oh, oh, this is a Huckleberry. <laughs> This is just a straight up huckleberry. I didn't even know this was a thing. I didn't even know that was a thing. That's dope as hell. Um, just going across each one of these, this class, this particular ornament will be different depending on what class you are. So if you're a hunter, it will be a hunter one. I would recommend the dumbest skull effect. Amazing effect. I love it. It's it's something that I've had on everything. A flaming angel coming in. It's amazing. A um, couple of different shaders and whatnot. Both of these are very good. And of course, make sure you pick up your uh, level four bounty from her because it gives you a prismatic facet key, which is amazing and all that. What's it? Moving on to the prismatic facet. Let's go ahead and take a very quick look at what we got. Seems like I have pretty much most of the uh, common items. So I'm assuming this week it will give me this because the only thing I don't need. Very quickly going across at the top. You know what? I'm just going to cut that part out. I'm not going to mention what that back of that sparrow looks like. 
so yeah we got lunafaction we got ursa got a whole bunch of different things here uh, you can just kind of see them as i hover over them um if you want to pause it on each different thing duel is something that i i do like as well and of course you have to get the level four bounty from her to get the key to be able to open every single one of those Woo! Yeah. damn what 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 as for benedict cumberbatch himself i'm no longer just going to be mentioning each single one of these i'll just be scrolling very quickly across this and if you want to stop for any particular reason you can see what you need for that reset and then finally you got your smg which sucks because smgs in this game and pve and pvp right now are really bad and this one is one of the worst versions of smgs in general so just ignore that and ignore him because there's no reason to to, to spend on <laughs> to spend on his robot ass all right let's go ahead and talk about hawthorne this week just gonna very quickly show off the different dailies if you're interested in the dailies from her this week you can see those and do those with your clanmates and all that stuff as far as the weekly raid challenges the first one keep out challenge which i believe is the vault because last week was morgoth right and they rotate pretty much in the same direction each time and I'm pretty sure Keep Out is the vault. Which the challenge for that one is that you need to make sure that the knights never himself. enter the middle circle area. And of course, the next one is going to be the clan rank 4 requirements. You have to still have to do clan rank to be able to get this one and complete the each to their own challenge. Which again, have no idea what this is. I have no idea what level we are in the clan and whether or not we're going to be able to do that this week. But um, it's, it's there if you want it. And this is obviously going to be for the new raid. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be... Um Clan level four anytime soon. That's uh, it's kind of bull, Bungie. <laughs> Gay Guardian screw. Anyways, that's. Ikora <laughs> always has to have the coolest things next to her. She's got an entire freaking snowflake just outside of her. God damn, man. You're just, you're just so cool. You got to have your own damn snowflake. All right, well, that's pretty much the video for guys today. Uh, that is the dawning preview, the reset and all that stuff. Again, I'll be doing my reset video, not my reset, my, my dawning guide video, hopefully this weekend after I've learned a bunch of stuff, how to farm a bunch of the different baking materials, what is and isn't important, and all the best tools and what's fit in a general guide. You guys seem to have liked my uh, last one on Halloween. I, I definitely waited a little while and got all the information I possibly could before releasing it and just assuming things about it so i hope you guys will oh it, it does things it glows and i hope you guys did enjoy this video and end up enjoying that video uh, my name is ben Chronic, and i will see you guys on the next one bye, -bye.